All right, this is a quick video showing you the Raven Eidolon or Eidolon holster. It's my favorite holster. I have an Incog Eclipse with the standard adapter on the way because I want to try that. Um, but if it's not as good as the Raven, it's being sent back and we'll see. But the, the standard for me right now is this holster. Raven Eidolon, Eidolon holster. You know, I hate annoying names. Just call it the fucking awesome ass appendix holster. Uh, but it really is. It's what I consider the peak right now of what I see as an, a renaissance of sorts in appendix uh, carry holsters for firearms. So I never thought I could carry appendix. I thought, eh, if I ever even can carry it, it'll be a tiny gun. And I tried it with a shield um, using another brand's uh, appendix holster, which was just a paddle holster, you know, with a, with a clip on it. And it killed. It, it was so uncomfortable, I could not even use a shield uh, or carry a shield for appendix. And I thought, oh my gosh, well for sure I'll never be able to carry what I, my favorite gun is the Glock 19. Um, I can't carry that appendix. I'm just stuck with the old uh, hip carry, which regardless of what anybody says, prints like a motherfucker when you're, you know, bending down and stuff like that. I was at the gun store the other day getting a gift card for Father's Day and there was a guy at the counter, white t-shirt, and leaning over, and it looked like a canteen. He was, it looked like a canteen was on his fucking hip. It just looked ridiculous. Um, gives you away huge. So I, I was going to carry that way and cover it as best I can. But anyways, bottom line, I'm carrying a Glock 19 right now. And this is a tiny little t-shirt. I'm 6'1", about 240, 235, 240, trying to get to 220. Um, and I'm on my way. But in other words, I'm a... In these days, I guess sort of average to average. I don't feel like a big guy, but maybe I am. But sort of an average to big guy. Um, and it, I got a appendix right now, right here. And it's comfortable as hell. Uh, Glock 19, it's loaded because I don't carry it otherwise. That'd be really weird to carry a gun around that doesn't have a bullet in it. Um, but look at this. It's like, yeah, anytime you do this, hardly even then though. But yeah, and you can see stuff, but I never do that. And no one, it, it's just, I just got back from the grocery store. You know, I care. I went like this. And this, you know, is not a, this is sort of a small shirt. There it is. And there it is. I've got the belt loops. And I would take it off, but I don't want to. I got the, it comes with the full guard in the back. Unless you pay $50 more, which, why would you? If you're carrying appendix, it seems like a good idea to have this sticking up just as an extra added measure to keep clothes and stuff from falling in there. Um, one thing I've noticed, though, is you're going to want to pull your belly up. When you see, it kind of gets, my underwear gets in there, I think. Yeah, got to be careful with that. Um, so, you, here we go. Okay. So when you pull, and I took it to a training class already, when I pull up, I pull up not only the um, shirt, but I hold my belly in. Because otherwise it pushes into your body so well that it'll catch your skin. If you don't have a complete flat abdomen, it's going to catch your skin in there and pull it with the gun and you're, you're going to hurt yourself. So pull up, bam. Draw. Holster. Draw, holster. So here we go. Ready? And that's it. Love it. 